The state of Michigan, uh, as Sam just mentioned, receiving a lot of attention for its stay-at-home orders during this pandemic. Now, ahead of Memorial Day, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is announcing the first small steps to reopening the state of Michigan. She joins us this morning. Governor Whitmer, good to see you again. Uh, thanks for your time. Good morning. Uh, so yesterday, the auto industry there in, in Michigan, uh, by and large, returned to work, so to speak. Uh, as I understand it, the northern half of your state, you're reopening uh, two zones, if you will, two regions uh, today. Uh, tell us a little, bit, a little bit more about why those regions were selected and what restrictions are going to remain in place. Sure, happy to. So I worked with a coalition of public health experts and business leaders, and we assess risk inherent to different sectors of our economy and different parts of our state. We know that our greatest strengths are the ability to test, the ability to trace, and uh, the ability to isolate. And where we can do that, we can safely start some additional reengagement. When you look at Michigan's Upper Peninsula and the northern part of the Lower Peninsula, you can see that our numbers are low and that we feel like we can take another step. So in our sixth phase in re-engagement plan, uh, we can now move those two regions into the fourth phase and measure, continue to monitor, and to continue to work with the locals to make sure that we're doing this safely. But these incremental steps, we think it's safe to take now, and we're going to, and we're going to continue to watch the data. You said on Monday that you're counting on, on those uh, two regions to, quote, get it right. What does that mean? What does getting it right look like? Well, it means enforcing the social distancing, ensuring that we don't have, you know, crowds in our restaurants, that we are able to keep people six feet away from one another, that everyone continues to stay vigilant. We know that if we drop our guard now, we could be in for a second wave, and that would make all of the sacrifice that we've made the last 10 weeks in vain, and we'd have to take stepwards steps backward. We don't want to do that. None of us wants to do that. While we're not universal in a lot of things in this moment, I think we all know we don't want to take a step backward. And so everyone has to keep their guard up and be vigilant and do everything they can to mitigate the spread. Uh, there have been, as we've reported here, a number of vocal protests there um, in your state capitol. Some Republican lawmakers are still suing you over the, the stay-at-home order, saying uh, that, that, that you went too far with the executive order. How much did, did the pressure uh, play in, into your decision to reopen parts of the state? None. I'm not going to succumb to political pressure or political demonstrations or social media pressure. The fact of the matter is we have to listen to our epidemiologists. We have to listen to our experts in our phenomenal research universities in Michigan. We, need, we are talking with international experts as well. We're going to stay tethered to the data. We're going to follow the science, and we've got to get this right. And anything else uh, is to put people in jeopardy, and I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. What happens if cases start to spike? Well, we're going to know it quickly because we've really dramatically ramped up our testing. We're going to take steps to contain spread, and if we see that it's starting to look like community spread, we'll take a step backwards if we have to. We have to be nimble in this moment, and it's not easy. There's a lot of stress and anxiety. But we owe it to one another to do our part and to continue getting this right. We've saved thousands of lives thus far. We can start to safely re-engage, but we all have to do our part. Last question. Every time I talk to you, I am obligated to ask about the uh, uh, vice presidential search. Uh, how's, how's the vetting process going so far? Are you being vetted by, by Mr. Biden? You know, I've had a conversation with some folks, but the fact of the matter is, all of my energy is going into helping my state through this crisis, unlike one that we've seen in 100 years in this country. We have to get it right. And I was elected to be the governor of the state of Michigan. It is the honor of a lifetime. And that's where I'm spending 100 percent of my energy and focus. We've oh. got a crisis like nothing we've ever seen before. And and all of, uh, governor, all of our focus needs to be on really Michigan. Really quickly, this conversation that you had, how would you, how would you characterize the conversation? It was just a, an opening conversation, and it's not something that um, I would call a, a professional, you know, uh, formalized vetting. Uh, I am making a little bit of time to stay connected to the campaign, but, you know, the most important thing that I have to do right now is be the governor of the, my home state. That's all that matters to me in this moment, and that's where I'm going to stay all my energy focused. Governor Whitmer, good luck with the uh, phase in reopening. Always good to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Stay safe.